introduce me as he did. I want to thank the board of the Hall of Fame for uh, inducting me. Um, I would guess to me that um, second maybe only to Lieutenant Brian Brendan, I'm probably the youngest guy to be inducted since they're saying Bill Bradley's still living, I'm still in diapers. <laughs> I'd also like to express my gratitude, my heartfelt gratitude to Brian Brennan for uh, exemplifying, in fact, all that New Jersey is really about. As you know, New Jersey is the place I was born. It's the place my father was born. It's the place my wife and our four children were born. It's where I first learned to walk, to talk, and learn to play a guitar, and someday I'm sure that it would be the place that they laid my bones to rest. Now looking back, I think Jersey should have been called Shadowland, because when you're from Jersey, you either have to step out of or cast a very big shadow. Um, when New York is on your one side and Philadelphia is on the other, you have to learn to scrap for just about anything that you're ever gonna get. But when history does, in fact, look back on the contributions made by the likes of Thomas Edison or Frank Sinatra, from General Schwarzkopf to Albert Einstein, from Abbott and Costello to Jerry Lewis, from Nicholson to DeVito, from Yogi to Bruce to Southside, I mean, I'll stack up Jersey to just about anywhere there is. Think about it, and in all honesty, Jersey's been the brunt of a few jokes. It's had <laughs> criticism thrown its way. In fact, I have friends that think that they have to bring their passport and exchange money just to come through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine by me, because as far as I'm concerned, that's one less Benny we have down the street. <laughs> The truth be told, Jersey is in fact a place where people want to be from. And I was reminded of that just this morning. See, I, uh, I just flew in from New Orleans. And just yesterday I was browsing along Magazine Street. I walked into a shop where there was this elderly lady behind the counter. And she had the most perfect blonde beehive hair. <laughs> and she looked up and before too long she realized who I was and she called out. She said, hey, Jersey. <laughs> what exit, you know? I mean, but she was from here too. You know, and I, I really I can't imagine anybody from Connecticut going, hey Connecticut. Rock out in Hampshire. It's just not gonna happen. You know, I mean no matter where you go, no matter who you are, no matter what you do. If you're one of us, you carry that with you like a badge of honor. And like I said, I was born here. I named our fourth album New Jersey and in 2005, even co-wrote the song that was eventually used as Jersey's tourism campaign. We said you can't go home. And in that song, there's a lyric. It says, uh, there's only one place. They call me one of their own. Tonight, I just thought maybe I'd drop by to thank you for that. Yeah.